good morning students let us discuss today on relativistic invariance of dirac equation under lorentz transformation this is uh, the continuation of uh, last video lecture which was about uh, covariance uh, form of dirac equation of course we know that uh, dirac hamiltonian is given by this form so we know already dirac hamiltonian this is a first order differential equation and of course it is symmetry both in space and time and this is exactly consistent with the special theory of relativity and special theory of relativity of course every theory is being consistent should be consistent with the special theory of relativity and when you are talking about special theory of relativity we will have to go only with the lorentz transformation so in lorentz transformation we are going to change from one coordinate system into another coordinate system through some process for example when you take in um, mathematical form you have a matrix you have a 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 matrix when you are going to multiply with the column matrix you will get another column matrix and this matrix is considered to be the transformation the transformed matrix because this will transform from one coordinate system into another coordinate system what is the result the physical laws should be the same the physical result should be the same i have an experiment i am going to perform the experiment i am going to get the result in one coordinate and it must be the same in another coordinate both should have both should move with the same velocity that's the principle behind the special theory of relativity and of course uh, maxwell's equation maxwell's equations are linear and it is uh, consistent with the special theory of relativity we can perform the same maxwell's equation in another coordinate system you have maxwell's equation in one coordinate system you are going to change this maxwell equation through lorentz transformation and it will be the same only thing is e and b alone will change i repeat for example you have electromagnetic uh, wave equations we have we have maxwell equations four maxwell equation in one coordinate system and ultimately we are going to find out only e and b so there are the solutions for example when you take uh, starting ray equation the solution will be for psi similarly maxwell equation the solution will be e and b e is a solution b is a solution so in one coordinate system we have e and b we are going to perform the same result in another coordinate system maxwell's equations will be the same whereas e and b will not be the same so that will go with the e prime and b prime is it okay similarly here too we are going to change the dirac hamiltonian into another coordinate system your alpha beta will be the same gamma matrices will never change whereas the psi will change that's the idea behind now in this class we are going to learn relativistic invariance of dirac equation under lorentz uh, transformation so it is invariant it will not change so invariant means it will not change we will have the same results okay so now we are going to show that uh, physical results based on dirac equation in two different frames are the same if two <coughs> frames are connected by lorentz transformation okay as i said through lorentz transformation means we are going to multiply with the matrix <coughs> we have a column vector we have a matrix multiplied by the column vector will give you another column vector so this is one coordinate system this is another coordinate system the performance will be done through a matrix we will see later we will solve dirac equation in two different lorentz frames the solutions must describe the same physical results invariant invariant means we will get the same results this does not mean that wave function will be the same in two different lorentz frames it's very very important the solution of psi will be different as i said for uh, maxwell's equation e and b are different here psi will be different okay in one coordinate system it's psi in another coordinate system psi need not be the same psi will be different this is exactly analogous to electromagnetic field 
tensors in which the equations remain the same equations will be the same that's why i said it is consistent with the specificity of relativity <coughs> so whereas e and b are different under lorentz transformation here to the components of wave function components of wave function psi transform wave function transform whereas the dirac equation remain the same so dirac equation should be the same it will be the same so it is consistent with the special theory of relativity so we know that uh, dirac's relativistic equation is given by this equation we know that hsi equal to esi we know that so hsi equal to esi so instead of e operator you can write as i h cross d psi by dt which is equal to the dirac hamiltonian we know already here alpha and beta are dirac spinners okay alpha is connected with the pauli spinners sigma x sigma y sigma z and beta is uh, is uh, identity matrix so we know already this okay 4 by 4 matrices now we are going to divide multiply and divide by i and we are going to divide by c so two operations we are going to do first thing is we are going to multiply and divide by i that will give you minus minus i square will be minus 1 so minus divided by 1 1 i is there okay i we are going to divide by c as i said so you will have i c t i c both are constants i can take inside so this will become i c t i repeat multiply and divide by i first then divide by c so that will give you i square will be minus 1 One i is there, so c is there. I can take because it's a constant. I can take inside. I can put it together. I can write this as partial d i c t. Left hand side is clear. Now we we'll go for right hand side. Right hand side, as I said, you we'll have to divide by c. Okay. When I'm going to divide by c, this becomes alpha dot p plus beta m naught c operates on psi, which depends on r and t. Okay. Now we are going to divide by h cross. Touch cross, so that will give you d psi by d i c t. I c t is a fourth component, so that's why we have we can write like this. I c t is a fourth component, time coordinate. Okay, so now here beta m naught c divided by touch cross plus alpha dot p divided by touch cross operates on psi. Now we know that p equals minus i h cross del, so minus i h cross partial d by d x. So we can write this equation exactly as. beta n naught c divided by h cross minus okay because minus h i h cross del so minus i alpha k alpha x alpha y alpha z so in terms of x y z that can be replaced by k k equals 1 2 3 so this can be written as alpha k partial d by d x k is it okay k goes from 1 2 3 so it's understood that d by d x d by d y d by d is it is understood okay operates on psi can it doubt now multiply on both sides by beta so that will give you minus beta d psi by partial d psi by d i c t you have beta squared multiply you going to multiply with beta so you have beta squared m naught c divided by h cross minus i beta alpha k partial d by d x k operates on psi what is this one immediately you can say this is gamma matrix so in the last class we learned this is your gamma matrix okay what is beta squared beta squared equal to 1 so we are going to replace with beta squared equals 1 and we are going to replace um, this term as gamma k that's all very simple so you have minus beta d psi by partial d psi by d i c t beta squared that is equal to 1 So m naught c divided by h bar minus i beta alpha k d by d x k. Now this m naught c by h cross equals. I am going to keep it as m. M is not mass. Okay, okay. This is a term. M naught c divided by h cross equals. You just keep this term as capital M. And beta, of course, we know the fourth coordinate. So gamma four. And i c t is nothing but x four. We know already. Your gamma k is nothing but this one. so this equation using these terms can be replaced and and this become this equation because exactly like this so instead of we have beta we can write this is gamma 4 so minus gamma 4 d psi by d x 4 which is equal to this term is replaced with m plus your gamma k is minus i beta alpha k so you have gamma k 
partial d by dx k operates on psi. Can it out? It's very simple. So now I can take this term to that side, left hand side to right hand side will give you complete equation. Okay. And that equation, so that that's the equation, and that equation can be written as replacing mu. So mu equals 1, 2, 3, 4. K equals 1, 2, 3. Okay. So we have we have already used this uh, Einstein summation convention. Okay, can you remember? The indices are repeated. So if it is so, the summation can be written in terms of mu. So indices are repeated. So covariant, covariant form. So gamma mu which mu equals 1, 2, 3, 4. So gamma mu partial d by dx mu plus m operates on psi which is equal to 0. This is your, <coughs> this is your Dirac's equation in the relativistic form. So we have already got this one. We are repeating. We are going to find out under Lorentz transformation whether it is invariant or not. So we are going to change. That's the idea in this class. We are going to change one coordinate system into another coordinate system. First point. This equation should remain the same. That's the idea. Okay, whether we are able to get the same equation or not after changing one coordinate system into another coordinate system. So that's the idea. Now, so this is uh, uh, this is uh, about uh, the transformation, Lorentz transformation from one system to another system. So consider Lorentz transformation is given by this equation and a mu nu. So this is a this is a matrix. As I said earlier, you have a matrix multiplied by a column vector will give you a new column vector. The column vector can be written in terms of matrix multiplied by a another column vector. So you have one coordinate system. When you are going to multiply with a matrix, will give you another another coordinate system. So this is the idea. Okay. So this can be performed through matrices. So this is of tensor of rank two. Is it okay? mu two indices are the mu mu is it okay so now one coordinate system to another coordinate system you consider this is one coordinate system and this is another coordinate system so psi equals psi prime psi prime and psi prime is given is equal to s psi s is a transformation matrix okay s is a transformation matrix is there matrix should be there you have a matrix multiplied by a column vector that will give you another column vector that's a transformation, okay? Lorentz transformation. So in the primed frame, in the prime primed frame, Dirac equation can be written as. You are going to write in terms of primed frame, primed frame. So gamma mu in d psi. So psi becomes psi prime. So psi prime divided by dx prime. Okay, dx prime mu plus m psi prime, which is equal to zero. What is psi prime? Psi prime equals yes psi. So psi prime becomes yes psi. Is it okay? Psi prime equals <coughs> yes psi. So gamma mu yes d psi by dx prime plus m s psi equals 0. m is a constant value. m naught c by h bar. m naught is a value. c is also a value. h bar also is a value. So, so this can be this can be written anywhere. So M S can be written as S sub. See M equals M naught C by H bar. It's a value. We can write anywhere. Doesn't matter. So instead of M S, we can write S M psi. Other things are all same. Now we are going to operate with S power minus 1. So this equation becomes. So S power minus 1 gamma mu S d psi by dx prime mu plus S inverse S M acts on psi. S inverse S will give you 1. Okay. So this equation becomes exactly like this. Equation 9.39. Very simple one. So we have S prime gamma mu S d psi by dx prime plus m psi equals 0. Any doubt? Now we know this uh, this equation earlier, correct? As we started with that equation, Lorentz uh, transformation. I said here, uh, already about a column matrix. So you have a matrix multiplied by a column matrix will give you another column matrix, another coordinate. Now there are two indices are there, mu and nu. So you will have to go only with the partial differentiation. So when you are going to differentiate partial differentiation, you will get this. D by dx, dx prime mu which is equal to 
a mu nu partial d by dx nu is it okay so now now so equation 9.39 so we have 9.39 so this can be replaced d by dx prime mu can be replaced by a mu nu d by dx nu see is it okay now total this term we can consider this term as gamma nu this term total term can be consider as gamma nu then this equation becomes gamma nu d psi by dx nu plus m psi equal 0 look at this equation look at uh, the earlier equation we started with this equation we have introduced the lorentz transformation from one coordinate system to another coordinate system and we have obtained this is this equation so this is exactly uh, dirac's equation the original form okay so dirac's equation does not change when you are going to change the coordinate system from one to another so it is consistent with the special theory of relativity is it okay so it is a relativistic invariance or covariance of dirac equation under lorentz transformation so lorentz covariance of dirac equation means that gamma matrices are the same so very important conclusion gamma matrices are the same in both the frames so in both the frames gamma matrices are the same and also the dirac relative wave equation is consistent okay is it okay very simple one the next title is charge and current density so we are going to discuss uh, charge and current density in um, for the relative stick uh, dirac equation so dirac relative stick equation is given by this equation we know already so we know that dirac hamiltonian is given by this replacing p with a with a operator that symbol that will p equals minus i h cross del so we have minus i h cross del so that equation can be written in terms of like this so p operator is replaced with minus i h cross del okay so 9.42 we are going to uh, discuss the charge and current density whether energy is conserved or not in all the cases in dirac hamiltonian you just look at it there is no potential energy you did not ask me anything about the potential see there is no potential right from the beginning we started with relative stick equation we, we never had v of r because we are talking about only the free particle particle is not constrained okay particle is free so that's why no v of r okay it's very important thing is free particle so there is no constraint so there is no potential energy okay but the very th very important thing is charge is conserved energy is conserved so we are going to discuss whether really charge is conserved or not we are going to discuss the probability ultimately the probability is conserved probability should be conserved okay it's very important concept in conservation of energy conservation of probability conservation of charges okay so now this equation okay we know that uh, this dirac equation and we are going to take the uh, hermitian complex conjugate of this equation so very important thing in non relativistic equation is we are going to take psi we are going to take a complex conjugate this will become psi star correct psi becomes psi star but here in dirac hamiltonian psi will not be your psi star psi will become psi dagger because everything in terms of matrices so matrices of operators okay alpha is a matrix beta is a matrix so psi should be a matrix no other way and of course e e we know e1 e2 e3 e4 can you remember e plus two solutions for e plus and two solutions for e minus so four everything in terms of column vector so everything in terms of uh, vectors matrix vectors matrices so we will have to go only with not a psi star it is psi dagger so psi equals psi n psi 2 psi 3 psi 4 so column vector we are going to take the hermitian conjugate it becomes exactly like this you are going to change the rows and columns and we will have to take a transpose okay psi dagger so it becomes psi dagger so now our aim is to find out just to take the hermitian complex conjugate of this equation you will get this so equal of minus psi this will become plus psi so c i h cross now as i said you have to take the hermitian complex conjugate you have to take the hermitian complex conjugate of this so when you are going to take the hermitian com conjugate this becomes del psi dagger dot alpha 
okay you have to take the hermitian conjugate because ab dagger equals b dagger a dagger you have to take the hermitian conjugate of this okay so it will interchange don't forget it will interchange because ab whole dagger equals b dagger a dagger so that's why written as del psi dagger dot alpha instead of alpha dot del psi dagger okay alpha dagger equals alpha we have already studied don't forget here alpha dagger should be there because we know that alpha dagger equals alpha we studied earlier so now del psi dagger dot alpha plus mc square here it must be beta dagger psi dagger beta dagger psi dagger this can be written as psi dagger beta dagger beta dagger equals beta so psi dagger beta so psi dagger beta clear any doubt equation 9.43 very simple one only thing is you have to remember these two otherwise everything is okay as i said beta psi psi dagger that are all matrices okay alpha dagger equals alpha beta dagger equals beta now multiply equation 9.42 by psi dagger on left so i gets cross psi dagger d psi by dt which is equal to minus i gets cross alpha we have to multiply okay from uh, from left so psi dagger psi dagger alpha dot del psi plus plus psi dagger beta m c squared psi okay now multiply this equation 9.43 by psi psi on right so this equation becomes minus i h cross d psi dagger by dt multiplied by psi so psi which is equal to c i h cross del psi dagger dot alpha psi plus m c squared psi dagger beta psi any doubt now we are going to subtract from here to here okay equation 9.44 minus 9.45 when i want to subtract you just see here mc squared is a constant you can pull it out correct mc squared is a constant you can pull it out so psi dagger beta psi here you have mc squared psi dagger beta psi so they will get answer immediately you can infer okay is it okay mc squared is a value you can pull it out the other things are all operators matrices we should never disturb so psi dagger beta psi minus psi dagger beta psi so the last term on right hand side will get will get cancelled okay so this minus this this minus this will give you this will become plus this minus this will give you this will become minus i can pull one minus sign out so i have pulled one minus sign out next term will become plus and this will become plus as i said just now i repeat this minus this will give you plus so we have written a plus sign taking the common terms out next term will be next term will be minus of this here also you have minus sign i have pulled one minus sign out i have pulled one minus sign out taking the common terms again out so that will give me this will become plus now okay so this will this will be psi dagger alpha dot del psi plus del psi dagger dot alpha psi as i said the last term will become zero now i h cross and i h cross it cancel this term can be written as exactly like this and this term we can, we can write exactly like this any doubt and this can be written as d by dt psi dagger psi d by dt of psi dagger psi what is the expression what is the value it will be keeping this as constant you have to differentiate keep plus keeping this as constant you have to differentiate exactly you will get this so this can be replaced with this d by dt psi dagger psi is it okay i can pull one del out here so uh, we can have write uh, like this del dot c dagger alpha psi keeping keeping psi dagger constant alpha so del psi plus del psi dagger dot alpha psi so these two terms can be replaced by this is it okay similar similar arguments any doubt so now we know that psi dagger psi psi star psi is nothing but p probability we know already so this e expression can be replaced by dp by dt plus this expression can be written as j del dot j of r comma t of course psi depends on both r comma t so del dot j r comma t this equation is known as 
equation of continuity which we learnt already in uh, quantum mechanics 1 unit 1 okay in detail so this is your equation of continuity what is this one p p of r comma t which is nothing but psi dagger psi in non relativistic equation this is psi star psi so here it is psi dagger psi so what is this one this is probability density and this one is probability current density j of r comma t which is equal to c psi dagger alpha psi without alpha c psi dagger psi the same expression for current current density in quantum mechanics one so there would be no alpha because here alpha 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 exists that's why in dirac hamiltonian the alpha because alpha exists we can say that um, the spin concept evolves automatically that's the beauty of uh, dirac hamiltonian okay so j of r comma t which is equal to c psi dagger alpha psi so which is nothing but probability current density so this is referred as probability density and this is referred as probability current density so probability current density is always a positive quantity in plain garden equation it, we got as a negative probability okay that was a discrepancy which was rectified by dirac so this is your positive quantity but in uh, klein garden equation negative quantity it cannot uh, represent the particle probability density is it okay here c alpha c alpha is nothing but a particle velocity velocity of a particle so particle velocity in a doubt so the last one thus the expression uh, for p has the same form as a non relativistic one this is what i said here just now in the non relativistic limit j of r comma t in equation 9.47 reduces to the equation c psi dagger psi c psi star psi non relativistic equation it was without alpha okay in the current density the current density will be without alpha c psi star psi in the relativistic equation the current density will be c psi dagger alpha psi so this is what it is given as this so okay now we are going to discuss um, the particle velocity c alpha how to obtain this particle velocity so we are going to use the equation of motion as we have done earlier for the uh, heisenberg picture starting the picture and interaction picture we have used this equation so this is this is about the equation of motion suppose if uh, both commute with each other this then that will become zero and dx by dt equal zero x is a constant motion of constant motion okay equation of motion so we are going to write this equation and this equation can be written as dx by dt which is equal to 1 divided by ih cross x comma h okay our aim is to find out c alpha particle velocity okay so 1 by ih cross x comma h the h can be replaced with the dirac hamiltonian it's exactly like this and we know that uh, <coughs> we are going to find out this is this moves in the x direction so we will have only alpha x del okay now we will have to use a comma b commutator will give you a b minus b a and of course x will commute with beta so as i said earlier beta will commute with all the coordinates so it will become zero so this will become zero only these two terms alone exist so we have a comma b so that will be a b minus b a okay so a b is this one minus already one minus is there so this will become plus so plus b a is it okay so we will we'll go with a here i have pulled i h cross out okay i have pulled c i h cross out i h cross i h cross will be cancel so c alone exists okay outside so we have a minus x alpha x del plus alpha x del x okay now look at this this is uh, operator is at the end d by dx so there is no we can't differentiate so this will become zero so here del is nothing but partial d by dx already one x is one x exists x is there so you have partial dx by dx which will cancel will have one is it okay so your del is partial d by dx so dx by dx which becomes one so alpha x alone so alpha x multiplied by c which is nothing but c alpha c alpha x is nothing but c alpha what is left hand side dx by dt what is dx by dt its velocity so that's why c alpha is termed as particle velocity velocity of the velocity operator any doubt 
so in this class we will discuss in detail about uh, the relativistic invariance of Dirac equation under Lorentz transformation. So very very important question. Okay. So we have transformed uh, through matrices from one coordinate system into another coordinate system. We have obtained the same uh, Dirac's Hamiltonian equation. And in the next session we will discuss about the charge and current densities. Okay. Expressions for charge and current densities. Okay. Okay. Thank you students. Bye, we will see you later in the next class.